Greetings, it's Michelle Renee here. I'm with the bird's eye view of the week. I'm using the original Rider Waite Samantha deck. I love the illustrations by otherwise beautifully known as Pixie, Pamela Coleman Smith. So as we move forward, we are gonna go ahead and pull this week's card. I actually pulled five. The first card is the High Priestess. Now, it's really interesting. Sometimes we get this card and we think, oh my gosh, I'm sitting in this wonderful position of power. When in the reality, this is, I always like to say, this is the mother card. This is the one that scolds you, right? Well, it, there's no scolding. However, she's requiring that you dig deeper. That don't be shallow about what it is that you are doing. Don't. It's time for you to to take a deeper dive in what you are uh, representing in yourself, and then also how other people see you, right? Um, because she does show herself uh, her presentation in her in her full um, her her full garment. However, she's got a little something hidden because she's working on something. She's got some additional knowledge. She's between the two pillars of information between two worlds. So what are you doing? Today, that was the energy. What, what have you been doing? And did you allow yourself or did you feel the nudge to now go deeper, getting to know people better, getting to know your project better? undoing or researching deeper okay so now the second card which shows up for thursday is the moon however it shows up reversed now it's really interesting that it shows up reversed like this because the moon usually is a secret person of, of the heart but in this case as you are digging deeper this is not time for you to hide this is not time for you to um, um, be secretive about what you're trying to learn. This is about you learning in, in, in full view because it's going to benefit you and the other people around you. Why do I know this? Because on Friday, we have the Six of Pentacles. And notice here, it's the gentleman, the young man. is He's caring for the elder right there. However, it's not about financial caring and 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 showing how much you can support someone else in this way this is about your whole life being being part of something greater and you doing the research myself doing the research then we're we're literally putting roots into the ground right that's important because it benefits you and it allows for a celebration you're going to find that on saturday there you go. There's the three three of cups. Now, this is a very interesting card because it can denote celebration. This is where you acknowledge your um, ability to communicate what you need to to get certain things done. And in the process, it's, um, it's, it's requiring that you remain grounded because you don't know what's coming up next if you notice the red. You understand that there's um, there's things that you are in charge of that you'll need to create or um, take in a certain control. And the white is to have literally the white, uh, the the one wearing the, the, the white gown is literally stay, stay light. Uh, release any negativity or thinking uh, that someone is against you or something is against you or or you can't get something done because something is in the way. No, just take everything to the higher energy level. Be light about it. Um, however, remain grounded and have fun. Be creative. That is your Saturday energy. And Sunday is your three of wands. Wands is creative and combative. But in this case, we're not combating. There's no, there's no struggle in what you're trying to create. Acknowledge that whatever it is that you're creating, it served a purpose, but now we're beginning the new week with a moving forward uh, in a more evolved or elevated um, experience of creation. Like, So what does that mean? So whatever it is that you're working on, you might have uh, where you find collaboration, right? Collaboration in your idea, collaboration in um, your resources, 
And it doesn't, again, it's not about money resources. It's really about a mind power, a collective thought so that you can get certain things done. So you can get life, um, you know, you can enjoy the things that you are thinking about that you want to do. So anyways, these cards are great and uh, they are slightly on the more general side. It's okay if they are. <laughs> if you'd like a reading, you can come to me and we can get very specific. Also, I have the link right up there. Or you might see it down there just depending on where you're seeing this in your social media. Click on the link. You'll see all the areas that I'm at. We have a wonderful community called Hearth and Broom. You can come there and get to learn about the wonderful, twinkly, magical, and very experiential place to be. Thanks for joining. Blessed be. Ashe.